Okay, so we've done some outputs, uh, basically turning lights on and off. This time what we're going to do is we're going to actually look at fading a light. Now, to get to this, it's under examples, uh, basics and fade. I'm going to bring up this here. So first of all, let's look at the code. It says, uh, originally the code says uh, pin 9. You can see here, it shows how to fade LED on pin 9. I've changed, so that would be pin 9 here, so saying our uh, the integer LED equals uh, pin 9. Um, brightness is 0, fade amount is 5. So bright. So this, the difference we've got here is this will only work for an analog out. Now, the analogs out are these ones that have the little lines next to it, so 3, 5, 6, 9, 10, 11. Uh, now, I'm, we have here our LED light. Okay, I'm going to plug this in now. I can plug it straight into pin nine. All right, remember the long one is the, the long one is the uh, positive, the shorter one is negative. Or we'll look at the side. So if I actually plug this into pin nine and ground, oh, missed pin nine and ground. You can see it's a little bit. It's a bit of a stretch. Okay, so it's a bit of a stretch. It's going to be hard to see, but that's all right. Um, I could actually bend these wires a little bit better. We could use a, uh, a breadboard or something like that, but at the moment, this is working straight and fine here. So, I've got pin 9. I'll leave it at 9. Let's have a look at what it says. It says, uh, initial setup, pin mode LED output. So, basically, we've said LED is 9, so that says I could actually just write num 9 there. And it says, so that's going to be our output. Uh, void loop analog write. So normally it says digital write, and it would be digital write nine comma high to turn it on or nine comma low to turn it off. But here it says analog write LED, and now I've got brightness. Now brightness is how how bright the thing is, basically the light is. Um, so this is now will change instead of just being on or off. It's going to go from zero up to two hundred fifty five. Two hundred fifty five is the brightest. So it is basically on. Now the next bit is brightness equals brightness plus fade amount. So initially, the brightness was zero because it said at the top zero. So zero equals zero plus fade amount of five. So zero plus zero. So zero plus zero is five. So now my brightness has now changed to five. If brightness is equal to zero, or if brightness is equal to two hundred fifty-five, change the fade amount to minus the fade amount. In other words, it's going to go up by five. Once it gets to two hundred fifty-five, it's going to go down by fives. Once it gets back to down zero, it goes back up. It goes to positive five again, because uh, negative and negative makes positive, and it'll go back up again and delay thirty seconds. So this just means that it's actually going to happen. Um, it's going to well, sounds fast, but uh, it's, it sounds slow, but it's th thirty milliseconds. So what we're going to do is I'm now going to load this up, and you can see at the moment I've got a flashing. I've just got blink running. Uh, but let's load this up. Remember, of course, you've selected your USB charger. Okay, it's loaded up, and now we see the light coming on and going off. And coming on, going off. Now it's not very. Apologise for it being. Let's turn it sideways. That's a vertical light. All right. So that's all it takes to actually create a fade. Now I can change that. I could make the brightness go up faster or slower. You know, I could change the uh, I could change other different things. Um, I can also put in um, uh, so, uh, put it across more than one light. If I was going to put it across more than one light, I'd probably run a breadboard. So that's probably what I'll do next.